I'm Kelly Nova, and I really hate Tally's armor. Unless you've actually been looking into making a Tally costume, you probably haven't realized the physics of her outfit doesn't necessarily make sense. Or at least I can't wrap my head around it. So she has these shoulder pads, and they barely hang on to her shoulders, and I don't understand how she could fight the Geth with this. It's uncomfortable, and I can't maneuver very well. I can barely, like, I can't even do the Macarena right. I could kind of do the Thriller, though. Kind of. I could do the Chicken Dance a little bit. My dilemma with this armor is that probably I didn't make it like I should have. But let's just step through the process, all right? These pads are made out of foam, and I used elastic under here to where it'd be able to fit on my arm without Velcro because it seems like Velcro wouldn't work very well. And the pads wouldn't stay on by themselves, so I attach it to this harness. The harness holds both shoulders together and then goes down to the buckle part down here. At first I wasn't going to attach the arm armor to the holster at all because I didn't think that that's what it looked like in the picture. But I couldn't get the arm armor stuff to hold on by itself, so I attached it to the harness. And now it stays on, but I have, like, hardly any range of motion. I just can't do anything in this. I feel like a robot. Apart from making the armbands for Jean Grey, this is really the only piece of armor I've ever made, ever, out of craft foam. And... From far away it looks okay, but when you get up close, it kinda looks like shit. I don't know if you can tell, but the sides have been ripping a little bit, so I've been having to hot glue them back together. I think I'm going to paint them silver so it looks just like welding spots, like you had to fix it, which will add to the battle-wornness of the costume. So what I did to get these is basically take tissue paper and put it up to my arm and say, okay, that's about how where I want it, and then I want it to go up to like here. But it needs to be curved to go along the curve of these little rigid things. So long story short, I came up with this. It's a little bigger than what I needed, that way I could cut it down. So then I made something like this to go over here. Over here. Over there. Whatever, you get the idea. It goes here. Originally, I only had these pieces right here. I didn't have this. And it just looks stupid because I don't know if you can tell. But it sticks out way far from my shoulder. And you could like totally see inside there. So I made another one of these and put it here. Like that. And voila. The harness is just nylon belting stuff. And I just measured it on my dress form. And it was a huge pain in the butt. But I got it. The towel's on the back. It's that thing, that like round thing. Those are just wooden buttons that I painted silver. And then I painted black onto it. And then I sewed it onto my holster. I really think that the arm armor was the most frustrating part of the whole costume. And I'm really upset that I have the leg armor to do because you guys, armor is not my strong suit. But as Steve, our cosplay friend and follower, did tell me I should take my own advice and I can always redo pieces of my outfit that I don't like. It's not going to be perfect for Comic-Con this week, but maybe next year it'll be flawless. I think I want to try making it out of Warbla next year. I've never used Warbla and it terrifies me, but we'll try. I tried using Wonderflex and that failed miserably. I don't know if I was just using it wrong. Probably. I was probably just using the Wonderflex wrong, but it wasn't working out for me. Uh, I'm already so hot! Dude, Comic-Con's gonna suck in this outfit. I tried to be like totally like positive about it, but no. Like my arms are so sweaty right now. So sweaty under this foam. It sucks. Have you ever made armor before? If you have and have any advice whatsoever, please leave it in the comments below. I need some help to mulligan this after Comic-Con because 
this is just not okay. I would be surprised if it lasts through Comic-Con. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, share with all of your cosplay, armor making friends, and don't forget to subscribe where you can see more of my cosplay, Danny Danger's comic book pool list and reviews, and Mark, our producer guy, is making videos now about all kinds of things. He tried magic for the first time the other day, and I'm really proud of him. He did pretty well. Stupid space armor, so high.